Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another unboxing and review video. In today's video, we're going to take a closer look at the NECA American Werewolf in London action figure. Let's get this thing started. Alright, so if you saw my toy hunt video, you actually understand why there's two of these figures at the table. If you haven't seen that video, why not? Just saying. Um, so I was very fortunate to find these again, but the most awesome part of it was is they were $17 a piece. So, uh, yeah, they had two. I got both of them. Uh, so we're going to open them up. Uh, this one I'm just going to set over to the side. We're going to start with this box because it's a little janky. Uh, matter of fact, let's uh, just sort of, yeah, fix that. The, the probably, in my opinion, this is probably one of the best boxes I've ever seen. Uh, the hologram, the 3D look of it is absolutely just crazy cool. I mean, it is, it's, it's awesome. I mean, I got to give credit where credit is due on that. That is, in its own right, a score. The back art of the box is awesome right there. Got lots of good uh, details. And it also lets you understand why I need more of these. Because of this. There's a lot of head sculpts. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah there's there's a lot of coolness when it comes to this box so if you are a box collector in other words you leave your figures in the box right there amazing so i tell you what i'm gonna get this out of the box we're gonna get everything laid out and we will uh take a closer look at this figure all right so got it out of the box and from an accessory point of view, this figure has a ton of accessories. And for me to be able to pick it up for the price point I did makes it even better. So, first and foremost, uh, he does come with two, uh, two hands. He's got uh, some already. So basically, you got another set. Looks like this is a left pistol and a right gripping. The figures, uh, the hands that's on the figure, uh, they look like they are more geared towards um, possibly the knives. So, check this out. I got my little tweezers out. I wanted to try something. Check that knife out. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I mean... It's got a little bit of blood on it, but I mean, this thing is so cool looking. A uh, nice little buoy knife is uh, what it's modeled after. So you got one with a stain on it, and you have one without right there. Same, uh, same knife, just like I said, one's been used and one hasn't been used. Uh, he comes with uh, three weapons. Uh, right here, the first one. We got a little Uzi right there. Very nice. Got some good detail to it. Uh, basically black. Nothing wrong with that. So, uh, yeah. Very, very cool. Also comes with this Uzi right here. Or um, This is probably a Mac 10. I'm trying to figure out. I think this is like a piece of... I don't know what this is. I don't know if at some point, it's got this little flap right here, and I don't know if that's part of the molding. It looks like a, it looks like a, a strap, but it's sort of weird. So I don't, I don't know, but there's the, uh, the Mac 10 Uzi right there. Very nice. And he also comes with uh, this, this machine gun here. Um, I used it's a it's like a British style uh, machine gun side loading magazine, but I mean, come on, three weapons? It don't get no better than that. I mean, one figure, three weapons. Uh, he also comes with this, and I really like this accessory here. It's it's a torch, 
And this is the first time I've ever seen anything like this. And this can be used with so many different figures. Um, this is cool. I would love to... I like the fact that I got two figures, so I got two torches, but I mean, come on. G.I. Joe's, Stormtroopers, Legends, you can use this with anything. So, uh, very, very nice. Got great detail to it. Uh, so, yeah, there's the accessories. So, the accessories alone are pretty spot on. Now, what takes it over the top, in my opinion, is the head sculpts. Uh, it actually comes with three uh, head sculpts. There's head sculpt number one right there. You know what? I mean, look at that. Look at that head sculpt. That is just sick as I drop it. Uh, the detail on it's great. Teeth, paint, everything. So that's head sculpt number one. Um, head sculpt number two. Again, very, very nice right there. Got some great detail to it. Uh, the paint work looks great. The hair, uh, the, the damage, teeth, everything on this is just awesome. And then the final head sculpt that is loose is uh, this one. Little, uh, little bald guy. And I like the fact that it has the, because uh, the, when, you're, when you're bald, the back of your neck right there, uh, everybody has it, but this this figure has the the wrinkling right there. But the weathering on all these head sculpts is phenomenal. So all the all the head sculpts plus all the accessories. The head sculpt that comes with the figure is this one. Again, very very nice. Got some good detail to it. Um, a little bit more abused, I guess. Uh, but yeah right there so come on just an awesome awesome set of accessories that come with it and that's the thing that drew it to me to begin with but when i originally found this uh, i think it scanned for like 50 bucks and i was like oh man i didn't want to get it because i knew i would need more and um i mean that's just i couldn't do it and then a lot of people commented and said, hey, you know, that, that price is wrong. So, but even at, I mean, I don't know what originally it was. Like I said, I got these for 17, so maybe 39, 40 bucks. You know, to get off four, you're in the 120 range. But uh, yeah, if I can find some more of them at, at 17 or even regular price, it still comes out to really good math. But here's the figure itself. I love this. I love this World War II vibe. The detail that's on the uniform is great. I love the olive drab. Uh, the belt, you can see the, the holes for the, uh, the belt buckle. The damage on the helmet looks great. Uh, Paint-wise, pretty spot on. Um, I don't see a lot of things that I'm disappointed in. Um, I don't know. Maybe a little bit of... Uh, dusting and stuff on the boots would be cool but hey the head sculpts make up for it so as far as the head sculpt goes this head sculpt here should be the one with the most limitations but what i've noticed is on these neck piece um there's a lot of articulation with that so i know the helmet here should hit so wow it actually didn't hit not like I thought it would. That's a pretty good upward upward look. Down's not too bad. Side to side. Wow, it definitely goes over that way a lot more than to the left. That is unusual. That might be the way the neck is done, but that's pretty cool. Very, very cool. Uh, shoulders, I'm not, just based on what I'm seeing, I don't know, but... That is not bad right there. Nothing wrong with that. I like the fact that the elbow has sort of a hidden joint with the uh, the clothing right there. Oh, that feels tight. Let's do this side. All right, not bad. Oh, yeah. There we go. So above 90. Again, nothing wrong with that. Uh, let's see what we got 
it does rotate up, which is cool. I don't see any, there is no ab because of this jacket. So uh, it will bend over like that. So not bad, side to side a little bit. Hip wise, oh, there's nothing wrong with that, nothing. Feels a little, a little loose, but nothing crazy. Um, let's see, knees, just got a 90 on the knees, which again, that's okay. One of my ankles feels a little tight, but uh, yeah, nothing wrong with that. This is an actual pretty well done uh, posable figure. The joints are reasonably tight, reasonably stiff. They're not overly stiff. Uh, my hips are a little bit, little bit loose, but nothing crazy. So, uh, yeah, right there, American Werewolf in London action figure. So, uh, tell you what, let me get this thing posed up. We'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts on this uh, action figure. All right, there we go. Got it up on the spinny spinny, and I decided to go with the the bald head sculpt, and uh, I wanted to see what that torch looked like, which, man, that torch looks great. But as you can see with all the accessories, um, the just the head sculpts alone make this a really cool figure to grab, uh, especially if you can get it at a great price point. So, uh, yeah. Uh, overall impressions of this figure, um, from paint, I give it just 10 out of 10. Uh, the, especially on the skin tones and stuff on the head sculpt, it's, it's probably some of the best I've seen in quite a while, if ever. Um, the overall look of the figure is great. Again, no issues there. Um, posability. Don't really see anything that's going to be too much of a uh, of an issue. I like the way they hid the joints uh, by utilizing the wrinkles in the clothing. Accessories, again, 10 out of 10. Paint, 10 out of 10. Uh, overall appearance, 10 out of 10. Uniform, 10 out of 10. I mean, this is almost a perfect figure. Um, yeah. <laughs> the, only, the only thing that I could say is it's a little too clean and i plan on especially putting some dusting on the boots uh give it where he's been walking around in the dirt uh but you don't really need a lot of weathering just uh i think just on the boots would be a, a good a good spot um weapons are pretty generic uh they look great detail looks great um this weapon here this uh this uzi that he's got actually uh the bottom of it actually broke off. Uh, nothing major. Uh, you just take a little uh, Sharpie marker and it'll cover it up. Doesn't impact it at all. Um, I think that might have been more my fault trying to muscle it into the hand. Uh, the hands are very, very tight. So to me, that's um, it's a plus and a minus. Uh, having them too tight can lead to what happened with me. Not having them tight enough they don't hold the weapon so it's it's sort of a it's it's a it's a give and take so but uh yeah great figure uh the only other uh accessory this uh this little mac 10 right here i don't understand this little strap piece um it doesn't look like it doesn't look like it's it's missing anything i just don't completely understand its logic so what I'll have to do is when I open up the other one, I'll have to double check it to see if it's a mistake or not. But that's it for this unboxing and review, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Definitely let me know what you think about the American Werewolf in London figure from NECA. Uh, also, if this is your first time on my channel, if you enjoy my content, do me a favor. Consider hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you got notifications turned on. That, that way you'll know when I drop videos and go live and everything else related to my channel. And as always, please remember, toys refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time.